So far, we have developed the three packages for the separation of concern. Let's remind ourselves very quickly. So this is the model class, which declares uh, four utility methods or just a number of utility methods in general. And then the JUnit test actually tried to call the utility methods over here by comparing the uh, expected value against the actual values. And also each of the console apps also call the, util the utility methods over here so that they can also print the result values to the console, right? So these are this these are the three classes that all use uh, actually the utility methods in the sequence, okay? Just remember. And now I would like to speak about uh, what kind of uh, slow motion uh, techniques you can re uh, you can really apply in order to really debug your code. Before I show you the actual debugger, there are certain ter terminologies I need to clarify before we can show you the actual debugger. So there are three terms we have to learn over here about debugger. The first one is called step over. And the second one is called step into. And the third one is called step out. Okay, remember last time, uh, I mean last week, when we spoke about how you can trace the uh, circle calculation, remember this particular uh, tracing I did, right? This is about how you can trace the uh, testing using the JUnit test over here to really call the utility methods. And also we trace about how you can uh, call the methods from the console application and see how the uh, methods actually uh, is being uh, invoked over here, right? So now debugger is doing exactly that. You can think about whatever, uh, however we visualize uh, the tracing on paper over here, either here or here, it can be uh, make, uh, it can be done actually on the Eclipse as well by using the debugger. But before that, I would like to just clarify terminology together with you before I show you the debugger. Once we clarify the terminology, using the debugger will be uh, straightforward. But you just got to practice for sure. I'm pretty sure it's a very new concept to you, but it's a very, very important uh, tool you would like to use as a proficient uh, programmer for sure. Let me go back here. Let's talk about step over. Step over is actually very easy. You think basically it follows the principle that we are doing a sequential composition, sequential execution of the code. You can think about step over is, remember, let's say in the case of the console application, the main method is really the entry point of execution. So we're going to execute the code line by line in this order from top to bottom. So you can think about step over here. It simply means we want to execute one line at a time. So we're going to execute, first of all, we're going to declare the scanner input and also we're going to prompt the user and then when we say step over, we're going to the next line, the next line, and also the next line, right? To be more precise, let me spec up a little bit over here. So now when we step over this line, it's going to prompt the user to really enter uh, the first term. Let's say, let's go back to our example. Let uh, And then we, uh, if we say step over this, the user is going to enter something as input. Let's say they simply enter uh, this part over here. They simply enter three over here. So that means once we step over this particular line, FT is actually going to store the value of three, right? And then once we step over the next line, it's going to prompt the user to, user to enter the common difference D. And then once we step over the next line, the user is going to enter some number for the common difference. Let's say in this case, it's going to be, uh, let's say two, right, in our example. So now up to here, we are basically around this point of the program. And then we have store three into FT and two into D, right? Now, if we keep stepping over, once we step over this particular line, we are actually going to, rem uh, so here's the critical point. You can see this line, in the previous line, is only just about uh, entering some input from the user, right? But now, this for this particular line, if you want to step over it, what we have to do is we have to execute uh, the uh, method over here by passing FT and also D, right? So in this case, we are simply just going to pass FT, which is 3, and also D, which is 2. If we simply say step over, that means we're going to move to the next line, right? without worrying about exactly how the execution actually goes uh, inside this particular method because it was simply up to 
uh, this particular execution, right? You can see we're calling get uh, sequence one, which is corresponding to get sequence one over here. And that one there is going to also execute a number of lines over here. So now, as far as this class is concerned, if you, uh, when you're here and then you simply say step over, you're just going to execute this for sure, but without stopping. You're just going to go to the next line, right? So once we go to the next line, what's going to happen is the sum, uh, sorry, once we go to the next line, so that means the sequence over here is going to be uh, assigned to the value that's returned by this particular method call, right? And this one, as we know, is going to be uh, the sequence. We got three, five, seven, nine, and also 11. That's what we got, right? And then uh, similarly, so now when you're at this line here and you want to step over again, what you're going to do is you're going to call this method over here, which is going to execute all the lines over here for get some version number one without stopping, right? So that part is not really put in slow motion. Let's put it that way. So now after this, you're actually going to get a return value from that particular methods. And that one should be, we know it's going to be 35, right? We're going to verify that in the debugger in a moment. Okay, and then finally, we're going to step over this. And that one there is simply just going to output whatever value it is to the user, okay? And then we're gonna step over again, it's going to close the input. So think about step over is a very, the easiest one to understand. That one there simply just means execute one line at a time, especially even for lines that actually going to contain some method call over here, you don't really go into it, you don't. You simply just going to execute uh, the method over here and also the method over here, and then simply get a return value store into the variables uh, over here, right? That's step over. Hopefully the step over makes sense to you. And then if you also switch the context to, let's say uh, the JUnit test, right? So you can see the JUnit test. Also, uh, if we are debugging, for example, this particular method, let's say, and then, so the uh, first line would be this. Once we uh, step over it, it's actually going to call this particular method over here by passing three and two over here, right? You're just going to step over. And then that one there is actually going to store the value of the sequence over here. I'm just going to say dot, 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 the same value over here. And then this assert equals is simply just going to compare the expected value against the actual value of the sequence, right? So step over does, does not really pause when you actually try to actually uh, try to execute this get sequence one, right? Similar idea. So that's about step over, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. So now the second one is also not too bad. It's called step into. Step into simply means when you are stepping over and then let's say you're reaching a line. For example, let's say we're here. Let's say we are over here. You can see this line here. So now let's say currently we're simply pausing over here However, rather than simply just stepping over again, we would like to see exactly how this method call really works. Remember, we implement this, this method ourselves. Maybe there's something wrong over here. Maybe because this is where the logic of uh, getting the arithmetic sequence is implemented, so we want to see, right? So now we can say that maybe up to here, we simply want to say step into. So when we say step into over here, uh, as soon as we say step into, at this point over here, we say step into, that one is actually going to go to this particular method over here, which is uh, the method that's being called, which is get sequence one, right? And now if you do that, let me zoom in a little bit, let me write it down. So this would be the step into. If you simply said, uh, if you simply said step over, it's going to, uh, uh, simply execute it without pausing. But now we want to pause and run every line for this particular method in slow motion. Okay, once we st uh, say step into, we're now switching the context to this particular method. And what's FT and what's D? FT would be this particular input, D would be this particular input, right? So FT would be three and D here would be two. And now in inside this particular method, we again have choices. You can now choose to step over one by one as before, and then I'll show you that in a moment. You can step over one by one, or later on, uh, it's not the case here, but in general, there might be just another method call. 
the levels of method call can be as arbitrary as possible, depending on what you need. If there's simply just another method call, maybe at some point, you can just choose to step into it to another level of the method call. That's also possible, right, in general. But for now, let's not worry about that complication. I will need to show you uh, how to use uh, these three operations uh, many times in order for you to really get it. But it's only for first introduction. All right, so that's about step into. So step into means uh, when, you are, uh, when you are stepping over, before you're stepping over again, you simply just want to step into some method call over here, and then from that method there, you simply switch the context, and then you want to say step over, step over, step over, or maybe even step into further, all right? Similarly, in the case of the J unit test over here, similar, okay? So now let's say this. Let's say initially we are just reaching the first line over here. Now, rather than stepping over, we want to see exactly how uh, this method call works, right? That's the method we are testing over here. So what we want to do is we can simply say over here, we can say uh, around here, rather than st saying stepping over, we're going to step into. So that means once we stay uh, step into, we'll step into this particular method here. Let me just uh, step into. And then that one there is actually going to uh, call this method over here. And now what's the input value over here? Similarly, you can see here, we have, we're calling uh, get sequence one over here by passing three and also two. So that means this will be three, this will be two. And now inside the context of this particular method, we can again say step over if you wish like that. Or if there's any further method call, you can also say step into, right? All right, so far we spoke about uh, step over and step into. Hopefully that makes sense to you. But I'm gonna illustrate that in Eclipse in just a moment. I wanna clarify this abstractly first. Finally, it will be the step out, okay? It's not too bad. You can think about step out is the opposite direction by step into. The opposite, right? You can think about they are the opposite of each other, right? So now, how, what does that really mean? Let's say this. Let's say we were over here. Let's say we were at this point over here, uh, the blue one. Rather than, rather than stepping over again, well, we're just gonna uh, we're gonna say step into over here, and then we step into this particular method, and then what we can do is we can definitely try to do line by line over here. But let's say around over here, we know that we are done. We don't need to explore this method call any further. What we want to do is maybe from this line over here, we know that that's it. We just don't want to finish the rest. We want to bypass the rest. We simply want to go back to where we were, the context. So what we can do now is, at this point, we can simply say step out. So what step out is, we're going to go, uh, remember this is where, this is the point that we say, this is the point that we say step into. So that's why when we say step out, we we'll simply return to the original point over here at the end of it, okay? So now, at this point over here, we cannot say step into this particular method anymore because we have already stepped out, right? So now, what's gonna happen? So now we are currently at the end of this particular method. If we, all we can do is we can say step over again. So when we say step over, we're just going to go to this particular line over here, over here, right? You can see step into, and step over for as, as far as you like, and they can step out to the original point over here. That'll be the end of the method call. And then you can now try to say step over again, right? That's the idea. Let's do something similar for step uh, step out over here. So let's say this, we were, let's say we were here, rather than stepping over, we simply say over here, we simply say step into this particular method. And then we can go as many, as far as we like. Let's say around this point over here, we decide that we are done with exploration for this particular method, and we simply just want to step out. So once we step, uh, say step out, exactly, you know what, let me draw a little bit better for you over here. So when we say step out, what we meant is we're actually going to the end of this particular method over here, this method call, so step out. So that means we are exactly this point over here. So what can we do now? From this point, you can say step over, and that one there is going to step over to the next line to really execute it, right? That's exactly the kind of slow motion you can have, right? So now we have talked about step over, step into, and step out. 
uh, these three operations abstractly and also using uh, the two example either from console application or from JUnit test. Let me summarize what these uh, three operations really are abstractly and then we'll go back to Eclipse. Okay, so think about over here. Let's say this is the starting point for your code over here. And then uh, let me just say that your code also maybe making uh, some uh, method call, right? Think about you got uh, lines of code over here. Let's say somehow, somehow this line of code actually try to call a method in another utility class, right? That's not what we talk about, right? So this will be use the use, okay? And then we also got uh, different lines of code over here. Okay, let's say we only got one method call here. So now we talk about step over. Step over simply just go execute this line, execute this line, execute this line. And now when you are reaching here, if you also say step over, that means execute this particular method call without going to here, without. And then you can also say step over, step over again. So now, what can be useful for step into and step out is, let's say at this point over here, I decide I want to explore further about this method call. So what I can say is at this point, I can say over here, step into. Step into the corresponding method that's being called, right? And then I can explore as many lines as I like. And then for that particular method, I can also say step over, step over, step over. So now let's say I'm reaching the point where I'm done. I think I'm done with the exploration. So what I can do is I can go back to the end of that particular line uh, that ori originate, uh, originated the uh, method call. So this will be step out. So once I get to this point over here, my only option left from here is to say step over again to the next line. Right. So that's really how the uh, three operations uh, step over, step into and step out will actually interleave uh, with each other. So try to get this idea uh, clear and then I will illustrate to you uh, right now.